I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. I don't know, I, I, I'm not no songs, and, and I don't know the whole song, but y'all go listen at that song. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. I pray I'll be ready. I pray I'll be ready. Look at the times we're living in, read Revelations. Get in that word. Get your mind right. Get your soul right with Christ. Get it right with Christ. Amen. And I just wanted to get on here and have that heart to heart talk and tell y'all to make sure that you pray over your kids and sow a seed over your kids' life. If you got more than one, so a seed for each kid. Especially the ones that's transitioning to adulthood and going off to college. Go check on them while they're in college, no matter if they like it or not. Ain't nothing they can do about it. What they gonna do? They can't do nothing. Check on your kids. Don't just leave them out there so the enemy can reap harvest in their lives. With sex, drugs, rape, sex trafficking, Men trying to mess over them, especially the girls and the boys too. But baby, college isn't is, a lot of things goes on, and those they them they young adults they not gonna say nothing because they don't want y'all to worry. And the suicide spirit is on the rise, so you need to write that on your paper that your child be shielded and protected from suicidal thoughts, murder murderers, rapers, drugs, sex trafficking. And that you put that God dispatches angels all around us. Sow a seed for your kids. Take heed. One and come before destruction. And a haughty spirit before fall. Thus says the Lord thy God. We got to get it right. I pray we all be ready. Because I am not going to hell. I'm going to heaven. I ain't been saved all this time to die and go to hell. The devil is alive. I'm going to heaven. And I'm, I'm here as a living witness that things that God has delivered me from and set me free. That God did. And I pray that this touches somebody. I have not had a desire to go back to it. Everything he delivered me from and set me free from, I didn't go back and pick it up. I stayed free. And I believe in returning my tithes, offering, and sowing seeds. When God tell me to sow, I sow. When he tell me to bless somebody, I bless somebody. I don't worry about what they have or who or whatever. When he tell me to do it, I do it. Because I know it's a reason behind it. And see, people are always looking for the monetary thing. But it's, it's more than that. It's in every area of your life. And God want to be your protector. He said he went away to prepare a place for us. And if he went away to prepare a place for us, he's going to come back and get us. So if you make your bed in hell, he's going to be there. And if you make your bed in heaven, he's going to be there. So which role are you going to choose? Are you going to choose the narrow role or the wide role? And I'm going to choose that narrow role. And I pray that I don't sway and I don't go to the left or the right. But I pray that I stay on that narrow role and be the righteousness of Christ. Amen. And anything that I say, don't take my word for it. Go to, go to God about it and pray about it. Anything anybody tell you, go to God about it, 
pray about it and see if this is what he's telling you to do. Amen. Look up scriptures. It's easy to talk to Google and ask them about certain scriptures about sowing seeds and your tithes, your offerings. Because baby, it's real out here. And you can feel it in the atmosphere. And you can tell if you get in God, you're going to feel what God is doing. And if you're not living for God, you're going to feel everything that the enemy is doing. And baby, he's doing everything in the kitchen sink. Because he don't even care. He not going to ask you. He just going to bombard. But see, God, he is intelligent. You have to ask. You have to pray. You have to talk to God. He's not going to force his way into your life. Because he don't want it to be forced. But I know he's sitting back hurting. Looking at how wide the road is. Because he's saying that you knew him. And you glorifying him not. A lot of us know God. But we choose to live how we want to live. And it's your choice. Nobody can force you. I can't force you. All you know people can do is talk to you and give you their testimony and let God use them as a mouthpiece. Nobody can force you to do nothing. I can't force you to do nothing. But I'm just relaying the word and the encouragement. That's it. And that's all that's all can that's all can be done. But I know one thing, baby, when they was trying to get in that boat after that flood came, it was too late. Don't let it be too late. Because we living in a day and a time where you just don't know. But if you get in God, God work in strange and mysterious ways. I'm telling you, God is awesome. God is a protector. He will lead and guide you in ways you can't even imagine. But you got to get to know him for yourself. Get to know him for yourself. Get to know God for yourself. And anything that you need to know that you don't understand, ask me, ask questions. And we can look it up together. <sighs> Let's get it right, people of God. I love you, prayer warriors. And I pray your strength. And I'm going to say a prayer before I close out. Love, Father God, we come before you today. Asking you to forgive us for our sins and creating us a clean heart and renew a right spirit on the inside of us. And Lord Father God, I ask you to touch your children, your sons, and your daughters, Lord God. Anybody that's suffering with suicidal thoughts, depression, oppression, um, feeling lonely from the loss of a loved one, or they in they are in need of a miracle. They are in need for you to just in everyday life for whatever their situation may be I pray Lord Father God that you can touch them and answer them and answer their prayers in ways they can't even begin to imagine that you would touch their lives like never before that they would have an ear to ear hear and eyes to see Lord, Father God, I ask you to open up their eyes and open up their ears. Unclog their ears, Lord, Father God. Give them wisdom. Give them knowledge and give them understanding of your word. What the Spirit is saying to the church. Who are the church? We are. And Lord, Father God, I ask you to touch them in a tremendous way. Lord, Father God, where they know that it's you. Show them who you are in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every suicidal thought, that it be cast down and cast into the pits of hell, never ever to return. Every spirit of depression and oppression, we cast it down and we pull it down in the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus, 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 Jesus. There is power when we call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, we call on you right now to come into the situation and pull down depression and oppression, Lord God. Pull down the strongholds that's in their mind, Lord Father God. Break ungodly soul ties, Lord God. Anything that they have entered into that's ungodly and it's a soul tie that they're trying to get out and they can't get out, Lord Father God, I ask you, Lord Father God, to break ungodly soul ties. Lord, Father God, I ask you to break every stronghold in their life. I ask you to break not break every stronghold in their lives, Lord God. And Lord, Father God, we cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is no other name. No man can do what Jesus is doing. No man, no man can do what Jesus can do. And you go with God as he go with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, prayer warriors. Deuces.